The denominator of the left-hand side of this inequality can be written as 2x squared plus 4x plus x plus 2, which is equal to 2x times in brackets x plus 2 plus x plus 2, which is equal to 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. Therefore, the above inequality can be written as 1 upon x plus 1 minus 2x upon 2x plus 1 times x plus 2 is less than 0. Taking a common denominator on the left hand side, we get 2x plus 1 times x plus 2 minus 2x times x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 is less than 0. This implies that 2x square plus 5x plus 2 minus 2x square minus 2x divided by 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 is less than 0. In the numerator, 2x square cancels and the remaining terms simplify to 3x plus 2. Therefore, this inequality reduces to 3x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 is less than 0. Multiply the left hand side with 1 upon 3 and divide by half. Do the same on the right hand side and we get x plus 2 upon 3 divided by x plus half times x plus 1 times x plus 2 is less than 0. Now let's evaluate the expression on the left hand side along the number line. The critical points are x is equal to minus 2, minus 1, minus 2 upon 3 and minus half. Now when x is less than minus 2, x plus 2 is less than 0, x plus 1 is less than 0, x plus 2 upon 3 is less than 0, and x plus half is also less than 0. Therefore, if we denote the left hand side of the above inequality by fx, then fx is greater than 0 when x is less than minus 2. Moving on to the next interval, when x lies between minus 2 and minus 1, x plus 2 is positive in this case, but x plus 1 is negative, x plus 2 upon 3 is negative, and x plus half is also negative. Therefore, fx is negative in this interval. The next interval is x lying between minus 1 and minus 2 upon 3. x plus 2 is positive, x plus 1 is positive, x plus 2 upon 3 is negative, and x plus half is negative in this interval. It follows that fx is positive in this interval. We next evaluate the next interval where x lies between minus 2 upon 3 and minus half. x plus 2 is positive, x plus 1 is positive, x plus 2 upon 3 is positive, and x plus half is negative. Therefore, fx is negative in this interval. And finally, when x is greater than minus half, x plus 2 x plus 1, x plus 2 upon 3, and x plus half are all positive. Therefore, fx is positive when x is greater than minus half. To summarize, fx is negative, which is the above inequality. When x lies in the interval, minus 2 to minus 1 or when x lies in the interval minus 2 upon 3 
to minus half. And this is the required answer.